Hey guys, welcome to Agrotonomy Tower Farms. We just harvested these peppers and I'm going to show you why this is one of our favorite crops to grow on the tower garden. Peppers don't only grow abundantly and prolifically on the tower garden, but they also are just so much fun to grow. They come in so many different shapes, sizes, colors, some are spicy, some are sweet. We really love to mix it up and grow a variety on the tower garden. This year, we designated three tower gardens only to peppers. So as you can see here, we've planted 12 pepper plants on each of these three tower gardens next to me, amounting to a total of 36 pepper plants. And uh, what's really cool to see is that right now it's harvest time. All the peppers are, are, are ready, but getting ripe. And it takes approximately 60 days for peppers to reach maturity on the tower garden. So it's definitely a plant that requires some patience, uh, but it's well worth it because you get such a massive amount of abundant harvest. So um, let's, let's harvest some peppers here. I want to show you what we're growing on our tower gardens and uh, let's get going. Okay, so here we are with some cayenne peppers. This variety is known as red ember uh, cayenne peppers. It's an organic variety. In fact, all the pepper varieties that we grow come from non-GMO organic seeds. Uh, this is a mildly spicy variety. It's, it definitely is a plant that requires a lot of patience, and um, but it's well worth the wait because once it starts giving fruit, as you can see here, it's just nonstop. It's so much per plant. Uh, we definitely recommend growing peppers on the tower garden. Okay, let's harvest some sweet yellow peppers known as Aura peppers. These ones have to be my favorite one this year. They are yellow and sweet and absolutely delicious. Probably the sweetest pepper I've ever tasted in my life. This pepper is also a sweet variety. It's known as glow peppers. Let's get one right there. Oh, wow. Look at that color. So beautiful. And there we go. Perfect little sweet peppers. Okay. Here we have what's called sunrise yellow bell peppers. Also very sweet. And just grows these perfect sized yellow bell peppers. Amazing. These ones here are a Spanish variety known as, uh, in Spanish, pimientos de padrón. In English, they're called padrón peppers. So they're, they're usually harvested green when they're not spicy, but then they turn spicy when they get red like this. But they're really delicious and very commonly eaten in Spain. They just put a little bit of olive oil, salt, cut them, put them in the oven, and they're ready to eat. Okay. So here we have what's called Cornito Rossi. It's a red sweet pepper, similar to the orange ones we have. It's a red variety. As you can see, it's perfect little red peppers. We're gonna cut another one right here. Oh, wow. They're just so perfect. Look at these. Wow, okay, look at this little amazing harvest that we have here of cayenne peppers, aura sweet peppers, glow sweet peppers, yellow bell peppers, the cayenne peppers, pimientos de padrón, cornito rossi. Wow, such a variety of peppers that you can grow on the tower garden. And in conclusion, what I would like to say is that peppers love the sun. They love to get lots of sun, so make sure that they're getting uh, at least six to eight hours of sun, better eight hours of sun per day. And it's very similar to their uh, relatives the of the nightshade vegetable family. The nightshade vegetable family includes tomatoes, peppers, uh, it includes here as you can see eggplant. All these are related uh, to the same family of vegetables and they love to get lots of sun. So make sure they get a lot of sun and enjoy your peppers. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Natalia, you have to try this. My camera. <laughs>